Hi there guys, my name is Azza8585, welcome back to the channel. This is the channel on YouTube which offers good racing, quality banter, tuning setups and tips and tricks to improve you on the track. So guys, kicking the video off, we're in the 2016 Ford Shelby GT350R and I'm going to go right off the bat and say this car has it all. It's good on the brakes, it's good mid corner and it's good coming out of corner. There's not too much oversteer, meaning you can get the power on nice and early. Heading into the garage now guys. So guys, first off we're heading into the conversion, aero and tyres. And as you can see guys, it pretty much remains stock throughout. There's no turbochargers, it's a naturally aspirated engine. There's no four wheel drive, obviously it's rear wheel drive. And there's no engine swaps. Full aero front and rear, because if you ain't gripping, you slipping. And you can tune the aero. You can get up to almost like 400 pounds on the rear and about 200 pounds on the front so you can actually get quite a lot of downforce grip from these front and rear spoilers and guys a little top tip here if you are increasing your aero to max always increase your springs because there's going to be more weight being pushed down and exerted into the ground tires now guys as you can see they're pretty much stock widest rear tire because obviously it's got almost 530 horsepower and stock front width so guys, since the BMW video, I've had four new subscribers, John Knox, Connell Whitaker, Benjamin Bell and David, I think it's Mohan, Mohan. So thank you so much guys for subscribing. One of the main things about this car guys, is the fact that when you join a lobby, you're not going to get kicked for being in an OP Camaro 02, an Alfa Stradale etc. It's a bit of a different car, but in the right hands, can, can win races, and can win races with ease. You know, regardless whether it's a, a tight, twisty track or a long, sweeping track, you know, it's always going to be a competitive car. As you can see here on the Alps, I'm up the inside of an NSX, a Cayman, two NSXs, and I'm holding my ground, you know, I'm holding my ground, even though it's a big, heavy Shelby Mustang GT. Guys, I just want to briefly touch on the BMW video that I posted a few weeks back now, and the response was way above what I thought I was going to get. I thought it was going to get a bit more views and likes than I normally get, but the way you guys have been supporting that video, liking it, new subscribers coming in, I honestly couldn't ask for a better audience. So yeah, big shout out to you all guys. Thank you very much. Next on the list then is we're going to go into the engine side of things. This car's pretty much stock, I'm not going to lie. So if you do want to skip past the, um, the engine side, happy days, feel free to. I'm just giving you a heads up, it's pre I think it is 100% stock, I don't think there's anything on there, any upgrades. And then obviously after this we're going to head into the fine tuning side of things. So as you can see here guys, stock everything, ignition, throttle body, fuel system, stock, exhaust, stock, cams, all stock. Like I said, I think the engine is completely stock. The valves, they're stock. Engine block, that's stock as well. The pistons and the, and the compression, that's all stock. I never really put an oil slash cooling because it just weighs the car down it doesn't give you much bang for your buck and a stock flywheel so guys this is the most important bit now for you i'm going to head up into the fine tuning side of things and let's be honest the main reason why a lot of you guys are here to see what makes this car so special so heading into the fine tuning side of things i've got 29 psi in the front and 29 psi on the rear there's no transmission in this it's a stock gearbox so we can't do anything for that negative 1.6 camber on the front negative 1.3 on the rear toe 00, zero and 5.7 caster i just think that works well with this car anti-roll bars we're going to move on to that 19 and then 17.7 .7 on the rear i think it's 19.28 on the front sorry 681.2 pounds on the front suspension 628.7 on the rear I've just knocked a few clicks up on the front ride height, I did feel it was bottoming out a bit, so 4.4 inches on the front and 5 on the rear. Rebound stiffness 11.1 .1 on the front, 10.2 on the rear, 2.2 bump on the front and then 2.0 on the rear. And then going on to the aero side, I've pretty much shot it just a tiny bit above the middle ground. If you want you can max it out for the tight twisty circuits like Suzuka, it'll do quite well on there. But I've done it like that because it just feel like it gives me the best all round tune. Brake force is 48% and 200%, it's up to you guys, you can do what you want. 50% and 10% on the XL and the D cell. So guys, that rounds things off for me. This has been a bit of a different video yet again. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it yet again. 
and hopefully I've got another more informative video of a certain car coming up in the near future. If you want to stay tuned for that, please do. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and uh, from that guys, stay tuned for more.